In this new product video, we're going to be taking a look at a new style of Hyperhub. We'll be talking about some new set screw steel pinion gears and also taking a look at some new pattern adapters. Let me introduce you to the new 1313 series of Hyperhub. You may be familiar with the 1310 series of GoBuilder Hyperhubs, um, and this is very similar to that. It's got the 16 millimeter pattern on there. Uh, those are uh, blind uh, threaded down to 10 millimeters, um, mm -hmm. but this one also has the 32 millimeter pattern, and that is threaded all the way through, uh, so your screw length doesn't have to be quite as precise on those, and it just gives you a much wider surface area for mounting mm -hmm. and working on larger projects. Uh, one really killer feature about this hub, uh, or at least this hub style, is the 32 millimeter diameter shoulders on the back of these arms. That allows you to nestle this down into a wheel, a gear, a pulley, um, anything that's got a 32 millimeter bore. And if you're supporting load and has load pulling it to the side or load going down because it's a wheel, that load is going directly through those shoulders into the hub, down into the shaft. It's all very sturdy and it puts your um, center of rotation right in the middle of whatever it is you're mounting. So you're not mounting the hub off to the side and introducing a moment arm. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very, very solid setup, great for larger projects. Um, and it really is a great companion for anything that has a 32 millimeter bore. Now, pattern adapters are a series of parts that we sell over on Servo City, and these are specifically designed to adapt the Rev Robotics pattern to the GoBuilda pattern. Now, we have two options to go between these two patterns, and each one is used in slightly different applications. The first one that we're going to look at has the standard GoBuilda 16mm grid pattern that is, of course, slotted out to the 24mm across pattern. This is a through hole and has 7mm flat to flat counter bores that will capture nuts or hex head screws. There are also four tapped M3 uh, holes in the center of this part, and these are a 16mm across pattern. This is very commonly used by Rev Robotics Parts, but is also used by a couple of other building systems as well. This is especially nice if you're trying to interact with a wheel or another motion component in a rev system, but want to use a go build a hub or mount it to another go build a component. Now this ne next option is a little more complicated. It's got M4 tapped holes on the go build a 16 millimeter grid pattern. And the rev side of this has some slots. Now these are a 5.5 millimeter hex counter bore, allowing you to capture nuts or hex head screws, just like the seven millimeter ones on our last pattern adapter but they are slotted from a 16 millimeter across pattern, from a four repeating pattern to a six repeating pattern. Now these are both used in the Rev Robotics ecosystem. Sometimes you may have a part that has a six repeating pattern. In that case, you will catch four of those six bolts and a four repeating pattern, you'll be able to catch all four with the other side of the slot. I'm really excited. These are very nice usable parts and allow you to grab some more parts from your arsenal um, for building your projects. Next up, we have a 2303 series steel pinion gear. This guy has a three millimeter bore and 12 teeth. It's a mod 0.8 pitch gear, which means it's gonna work well with other mod 0.8 pitch gears in the Google to build system. Mm -hmm. uh, but because it's so small and mod 0.8 pitch gears and 32 pitch gears only have a less than 1% difference between them, it's mm -hmm. gonna work great as a drop-in replacement to a 32 pitch 12 tooth count uh, gear. So recently we had a 32 pitch, mm -hmm. three millimeter bore, 12 tooth gear that was discontinued and mm -hmm. this guy is going to be a perfect drop-in replacement for that. Next up we've got another 2303 series pinion gear. This one has a five millimeter bore with a set screw to locate that gear along the shaft and one of my favorite features of this and that other 2303 series gear is the text on the face. Now this tells you the mod or the pitch and it also tells you the tooth count. So you don't have to wonder, hey, is this a 13 or a 15 tooth? You can just check right on the face and it will tell you. Uh, these are also steel, which is different from the brass gear that that gear replaced. So very durable, just crazy strong. I'm really excited for 
these gears on Servo City. Absolutely. The seal makes them long wearing. It mm -hmm. makes the set screw more effective. And mm -hmm. I do love the text on the front. When you have a bunch of gears sitting in your drawer or in a bin or something, that makes it so much more convenient. Thank you guys for tuning in to this new product video. If you want to catch up with other new product videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions about these or other parts we sell on Servo City, make sure to shoot us an email over to tech at servocity.com.